A former Kanu state governor and current senator representing Kanu Central, Ibrahim Shakarao, on Monday urged his supporters to work for the People's Democratic Party and their victory in the 2023 general election. Shakarao made the call shortly after the party's presidential candidate, al Haji Atiku Abubakar, and the party's national chairman, Yocha Ayu, welcomed him back to the party in Kanu. Atiku, who was accompanied by his running mate and Delta State Governor Ifani Okoa, expressed confidence that Shekarao's defection to the PDP would result in the party's victory in the state. In his remarks, Ayu said Kanu was important and strategic to the party and that having people like Shekarao will help the party achieve its goal. Well, joining us to discuss this is John Shoaibu. He's a former member of the Presidential Convention Committee in the People's Democratic Party. Thank you so much, Mr. Shoaibu, for joining us. Good evening, Marianne. Thank you for having me once again. Great. Um, for a lot of people, they're trying to make sense of this. You know, in a space of a few months, Senator Shekau has moved from the APC to the NNPP, and the space of a few months, he's moved from the NNPP to the PDP. And, the, and we rolled out the drums, or your party rolled out the drums for him. Um, what does this really say about the character of this personality? You know, thank you once again. You know, politics, first of all, is about uh, numbers, about interests. And uh, for the person of uh, Shikarao, is, uh, is someone that you cannot wish away when you, when you want to win an election. So for him, someone like him who started as a teacher, became a, uh, what a politician, and then won an election, even when he was demoted by Pankoso, he won an election in Kano State. And for him to have an agreement with uh, Pankoso, he was given a ticket to run for the Senate, and he decided, look, if you can't accommodate my supporters, then I don't have a place here. That tells you one of, it, of his character, that he is a team player, he's not selfish, he's someone that wants to carry everyone along. And that is why his humility, you know, kind of uh, is a driving force or an addition to why his supporters will always go all out for him. So for, for Shakara, for me, is, is a man that wants to stand by what he believes in. That is, if a place is not conducive enough for him, and his supporters are not with him, rather than just taking the glory he wants everybody to carry along, he would rather move to where he have accommodated. And to tell you that Shekarao is not someone just running after office or trying to run after position, he's someone trying to see where he can actually bath and then ensure that he gets good governance. That is why he decided to come to the PDP. And, you know, to, to have relinquished his ticket at the ANP, NNP, NNPP, it tells you a lot about him that he's not selfish. He's, he's someone that wants to, to be a team player, someone that wants to see his followers not being relegated and, you know, true to the being while they support him. Mm. You just said something about the fact that he, he stands by what he believes in. And I really wonder. What does he believe in? Because a man who's, um, you know, moving from one party to another in the space of a few months, he makes us really wonder if he does have something he believes in. But, well, you're here to defend him, so let's hear what you have to say. Well, number one, he says something in one of his interviews. He said he cannot trust the integrity of the agreement they had because mm -hmm. there was a default. So for him, it's not all about himself because the agreement with him with Kwakwasu group was okay. I get a ticket. My supporters have a say in the party. But when it got to the, the, the crunch time, it is, the, the party decided to give only him the ticket. You know why? Because they know he has political weight to bring his supporters, thinking he's selfish. That tells you that part of a good character of a man is to say he's unselfish. Is to say that, look, I'm ready to give in to others rather than for me, myself. So that tells you that this is a man that did not just leave NNPP to PDP. That is an umbrella that can cover everyone. It tells you that this is a man that wants all, you know, everybody to be around him and everyone to be partaker of the good governance that PDP can bring on board. Interesting. 
I'd like to take you on some of the things that you've mentioned. Now, you talked about the fact that he once said a place where his his members or his followers could be heard, and of course, people who could stand by, you know, um, or keep their word. Let's talk about keeping your word. The reason why we're having the Wiki Atiku drama, or what you would rather call the Southern Caucus, you know, a drama within the PDP is about keeping your word. And then let's talk about the PDP. Um, the reason why also the Chief Body Judge is asking that Senator Yocha, are you step down to keep his word and be fair to the people? It's about the same issue that you've raised, keeping your word. Why would the PDP be a place that one would expect that they'd keep their word, especially if the Southern Caucus is, of course, at loggerheads with the National Working Committee and, of course, the leadership of the party for not keeping their word? What's, who's to say that Shekau will also not up and leave uh, a few days later because of, you know, what you said again, keeping your word as a party? Well, when it comes to the Southern Caucus, position. Don't forget, PDP, there's an anticipation, there's a precedent of what had happened before, the time of uh, Amadou Ali and then that of Obulafo. We saw what happened. You see, the PDP is not an unruly party. It's an election time, and nobody, no politician should ask for such a thing that, look, let's change leadership. We have elections to run a couple of months. And I believe, and I know, that the PDP will ensure that there's a change in parties in the leadership structure of the party. So that is not, is, is not something you have to even debate about. It will come to play. I believe that, 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 that the, the, the chairman will keep his word that, look, I'm going to leave. He could insist that, look, I will stay because I have a four-year tenure to run. But immediately, uh, President, uh, by God's grace, President Atiku, or vice president Atiku becomes a president, what will happen? He will definitely step down and the process will be done. So a, con a mini convention, a special convention will be conveyed in which there will be a change of party. So that for me is, is not something that anyone should uh, uh, worry about. But for me, Shekrao will keep his word. You know why? He's not coming in because he wants something for himself. To have relinquished a ticket that will have given him something or probably power play in the in the scheme of things. It's, 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 very, it's, it's, it's very it's very it's very difficult to believe this because I mean sincerely politics is about interest and numbers. Yeah. I, 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 I yeah. don't understand when you say he's not coming in for anything or personal. Come on, he does want something. That's why he moved from okay. the NNPP to the PDP. Yeah, you know what you may wants. not know what you he know what wants, he but wants. I do not know if that sits right with everybody else that he does not want anything. If he didn't want anything, he'd stay in the NNPP. Okay, let me tell you this. He doesn't want anything but good governance. And the plan that Atiku Abubakar has. He has seen the plans of Atiku Abubakar. He has seen what PDP can bring on board. He has seen that in the platform in which Nigerians can be rescued from what PDP has, uh, APC has thrown us into to rescue the country from the, from the, from the damage that APC has done to the psyche of Nigerians, to the economy of Nigerians, to the security of Nigerians. To, to, to everything you can think of, APC has have, have dug the pit, they've sent Nigeria into it, and we need someone to bring us out. And who better to do that? Vice President Atiku Abaka, candidate Atiku Abaka, who can do it under the umbrella of PDP. So, for me, Shakarao is coming because he has seen the plans of Atiku. If not, he will have gone somewhere else. He will have stayed put and said, look, damn everything, let me stay with PDP and then get my ticket, get my senatorial, uh, uh, what's it called, seat, and return back to the to, to National Assembly. But he didn't do that. He decided to come to PDP, that he has seen the program of PDP, what we can do. The umbrella is so big that it can contain everyone and Nigerians to bring us into a place of prosperity back again. Could it also be that the senator had seen that there might not be a future with him, or he might not even win that particular um, you know, tickets under the NNPP, no, no, no. and that's why he... I'm Sorry. just saying, could it be? Because Let like you something. just Let rightly said, the PDP is a big umbrella, and there are better chances, in your words, compared to what he might have in the NNPP. Let me tell you what. You know, for someone who was a school teacher, demoted by Kwankusu, who was a school teacher, and uh, he contested against him, against the sitting governor, and he won with a million plus votes. 
That tells you a lot. He came for the second time, he won the ticket, he won the seat. He went to Senate, he won the seat. That tells you he's fairly good. He's not someone that you can just throw away by reason of a wave of a hand. That's someone you should cut to ensure that you have an inroad into Kano. And don't forget, the PDP in Kano has not been having it too good when uh, Kwanko so lost. So we need the numbers. We need the numbers, and Shakara have the numbers. And beyond the numbers, we know that Shakara, by his fair degree of someone that wants good governance, someone that wants the people to be served. We have seen it in a PDP again. We have seen by the character and the personality of Atiku that, look, I know there's a future for my people here. I know there's a future for Nigeria in if I join the PDP so I can contribute my quota to the development and growth of the nation. Well, Shaibu is a former member of the Presidential Convention Committee with the People's Democratic Party. I want to say thank you so much for speaking with us. We appreciate your thought. Thank you very much, Diane. All right. And uh, we'll take a quick break. Thank you for staying with us. When we return, we'll be discussing the Labour Party and its plan for 2023 elections in Lagos. <laughs>